Sticking with Liberty Softball, these ladies have been burning up the base pass this season. Out of the 97 stolen base attempts, they have been safe 81 times. Game on Andy Freeman met up with some of these lightning fast ladies to discover the art of the steal. The stolen base. It's a daring dash that can change the course of a ball game. One nothing Liberty. Back in the 1860s, history records Ned Cuthbert with the first official stolen base. By 1887, Hugh Nichols set the single season record of 138 stolen bases for the classic era of baseball. Base stealing continued to grow rapidly in the 20th century thanks to players like Ty Cobb with his notorious high-flying slides, Sophie Curius, the Flint Flash who averaged 150 stolen bases a year, and the great Ricky Henderson with the all-time record of 1,406 steals in a career. But the stolen base isn't limited to baseball. It's also a great offensive weapon in the game of women's fast-pitch softball which leads us to Liberty University, home to two talented base stealers, Tori Zavodny and Blair Lawrence. This season, they've swiped over 40 bases at an 87% success rate. We talked to them both about their base stealing talents and if they could remember the first time they stole a base. Probably in travel ball, probably 10 and under, I'd say. Uh, I just remember, you know, I took off, first time ever, took off, adrenaline's rushing, you know, and I slide in and I'm safe and I do like a little pop-up slide with my feet. So I don't know, that just stuck out to me. It was just a great feeling. I was like, hey, I can do this again next time I come up. Growing up watching softball, you know, watching the USA team just do it, and I was like, wow, you know, I want to be that fast base runner that, you know, makes a big difference in the game by stealing bases. Veteran softball coach Bob Pinto knows the value of Tori Zavodny and Blair Lawrence and what their base stealing can do for the Lady Flames. It's extremely important for us. Um, we are able to steal a base without creating an out on offense. So in other words, we don't have to sacrifice Tory or, or um, Blair over. We can just have them steal the base. Gives us an extra out in that inning, extra batters, and more chances to score runs. We asked Tori and Blair once they get on base what they look for in a potential steal situation in order to be successful. So looking at the catcher's arm during warm-ups, if she has a good arm or not, that gives me you know, confidence. If it's, if it's a weak arm, then I know that I'm gonna steal if I get on base. If you have a great leadoff, there's no way that you know, the catcher can, you know, she has to throw a perfect throw in order to get you out. So if you get a good leadoff, you're 99.9% sure gonna reach the next base safely. Senior Kelby Allen is the starting catcher for the Lady Flames. We asked Kelby what effect Blair and Tori have on their own team when they steal a base. If they get on no outs, they get on, they steal a base, you're like, oh, we're, they're going to score. Like, they, they're so fast, they can, we hit like a bloop over first base, Blair's home. Like, before we even reach like first base, she's rounding third. So, both of them, really. So, they're just, it's just like a spark and like a, energy that they bring to our team, a positive energy. Tori and Blair will continue to create havoc for opposing teams out on the base paths. Tori also hopes to catch the all-time base stealing leader for Liberty Softball, her own sister, Katie. As much as I don't want to say it, I think she was faster than me. Um, so I have to work hard to beat those records, but hopefully I'll beat her um, career record. When I asked this dynamic duo about their favorite base to steal, Rather than telling me second, third, or home, they gave me the best answer. The stolen base that helps their team win the game. Reporting for Game On, I'm Andy Freeman.